Well, folks, on a great day in Nashville, Tennessee, at the Visitor's Center, next door to the Bridgestone Arena, having some great ice in, now we've got another legend of country, Jimmy Fortune. <laughs> and Jimmy, it's lovely to, to meet you. Too. Good to be with you, buddy. Now, when I say yeah. legend, I mean it, Jimmy, because you've had a stunning career in country music. Well, I was with a group called the Statler Brothers for 21 years, of, uh, and the Statler Brothers had a, like a 40-year career, of course, with uh, songs like Flowers on the Wall, Bed of Roses, and um, I Go to My Grave Loving You. And it was uh, uh, for me to be there uh, for 21 years, uh, I can't explain how how it was. I mean, and to wind up in the Country Music Hall of Fame and the Gospel Music Hall of Fame after all of that. It's special, uh, isn't it? It's, it's special, but you never, it's something you never plan on. It's something that you never think is going to happen to you. I, to, I, I always call them the, the God things in life, and that's one of them, um, being with a group like Well, I was saying to Jimmy here, Jimmy says, I've got to meet all my <laughs> heroes. And I, said, well, <laughs> and I said to Jimmy, they, you don't realize it. Seriously, all the artists, the stars, don't realize it that they came up to me and they say the same about Jimmy. I got to meet Jimmy. <laughs> well, now, you was here. James Dean Hicks has been talking to me, has written songs that have sold 50 million copies. And he came up, he said, man, I want to have a photo with Jimmy Fortune. And, <laughs> and when, when you said to him, you know, great song you've written, he says, man, that's a true compliment coming from you. So, yeah. Jimmy, on your career, you had a great career. Uh, tell us where it started. Well, it was back in Virginia. I, I, uh, years ago, uh, as far back as I can remember, I sang with my family and things like that. But uh, I started uh, my own band when I was 13. Eventually, led out into to uh, playing clubs and things in Virginia. And I was playing six nights a week, four hours a night, and I had two daytime jobs to kind of support my music habit. And so, uh, I had been uh, burning the candle at both ends, basically, never thinking anything was going to happen. Just. I just love music. I just knew that I loved to write and I loved to sing. Well, I didn't actually at the time I didn't write anything. I loved to sing and play my guitar. And so I went up to sit in with some friends of mine one night, make a long story short. In, in, in Virginia, there's a ski resort up there. I went to sit in with some friends one night and Lou DeWitt of the Statler Brothers, who sang tenor for the Statler Brothers 18 years before I came along, he happened to be there that night. And so I got to meet one of my heroes. And I, knew, I didn't know at the time he suffered from Crohn's disease. And so. Uh, he, uh, uh, we met each other, and I, after that night, I thought, well, I'll probably never hear from him again. And then right after, uh, right around Christmas 1981, uh, I get a phone call from the Statler brothers saying that Lou was going to have to be out for about six months from to have surgery. And um, they asked him who he thought could fill in for him, and I was the first name out of his mouth. And so that's another God thing, you know. Uh, that's it. And, and you stayed with them for how many years? I, I was with them for temporarily for six months, and then Lou came back for a couple weeks. And then uh, after he came back and said he didn't think, told me, he said, I don't think I can do the road anymore. He said, you've done such a good job to this point. Why don't you just stay on? And uh, I said, you know, I'd be a fool and an idiot to turn this down. So um, I became a full-time member in uh, July of 1982. And it became, I was there for 21 years after that. So I was there until the Statler Brothers decided to retire. And when they retired, it must have been a, a sad day, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Uh, it was, um, I don't know, it was kind of, it was, kind of uh, it was happening so fast that you really didn't have time to think about it. Yeah. They decided in January of, of 1980, of, not, of 2002, that they were going to retire. And the last date was going to be in October, uh, October the 26th in, uh, in 2002. And it didn't give you a lot of time to think about things, but I knew I wanted to continue on. So it's been almost 14 years now, I mean, since the Statler Brothers retired, and I've been on my own, doing my own thing. And, and country music and people have just welcomed me with open arms, and um, I'm just very thankful to have another career after uh, being with a group like the Statler Brothers. Are you going to you do gigs on your own and you do it as a trio, is that right? I do a, a, I do trio, I uh, also do a solo work as well with, with me and my guitar. I do full band. It depends on what people want. Well, you know? want yeah. uh, I try to make it affordable for whoever's hiring me uh, and to uh, to go and kind of make it work for for the people that are buying the act. You know? yeah. uh, you know, let's face it, I mean, not everybody can go out and pay uh, now, you, the money. You don't get. know, you've got one of these seriously, seriously recognizable and distinct voices. And um, <laughs> I played a video on the show last year, I was talking about it, I couldn't pin the song down. Tell us which one it was. Well, it was a festival, well, I do a, I do a thing back in Virginia, kind of mm -hmm. like the Statler Brothers used to do, that was a concert that we used to do called Happy Birthday USA, and that was in Stanton, Virginia. 
Well, I just came down the road um, to a place called Radford, Virginia, and I started doing that same type of thing. So I, every year, 4th of July, I go there and I take my band and we go in and we do a big concert there. We started out with 700 people uh, about seven years ago. And it's got to 25,000 people. 25,000, serious, and, yeah. And so uh, at the end of the show, somebody requested a song that I did one time. I used to do it in the clubs called um, When a Man Loves a Woman. It's an old Percy Sledge song. Yeah. And somebody just requested it. And uh, so I started singing it, and I happened to walk down into the audience. And, of course, all these women were coming up and and, and, and holding on to me while I was trying to sing the song. <laughs> and, and it just got kind of on YouTube well, and, and it just... Well, as I was saying, Jimmy, it wasn't even rehearsed, was it, that No, one? no. Uh, so no. a lot of the videos you play in the shows, you know, their <laughs> money's paid for them, they made a professional video or it's a concert, yeah, right. but on this particular video, someone actually sent it in to us, and as you say, it was just on a camcorder, right. but this is good enough to play it because the, the voice is just fantastic. You can see he was having a lot of fun doing it. Oh, I was having a ball, but uh, with that song, you know, I hadn't done it in a, in a long time, so I was surprised that somebody actually you know, yelled it out from the audience, but that's, you know, my career, uh, people come to see me, they used to come see me in clubs years ago, yeah. when I, before the Statler Brothers, and so uh, there's a wide variety of people, all ages, yeah. and uh, that come to my shows now, and um, I'm just having a ball doing it, though, but stuff like that is, that's the things I love, it's things that are just off the cuff, things that just happen. And well, Jimmy, now, what have you got planned at the moment? You just take it as it comes now, or do you have planned out concerts or tours? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually touring quite a bit. If you go on jimmyfortune.com, you'll see my tour schedule. I have a brand new uh, album, a CD that I'm pushing, a DVD that it's called Hits and Hymns, which consists of some of the hits that I've written with the Statler like Elizabeth, uh, Too Much on My Heart, More Than a Name on a Wall, um, and then there's a lot of the hymns. That I must get this DVD and play one some of the tracks from it. Then, yeah. Absolutely, I'll make sure you have one of those. Uh, but it's called Hits and Hymns. I teamed up with Bill Gaither, um, and we have it's done real well. Debuted uh, debuted on country charts at number ten How about uh, that? this year, and that's great. Uh, it's been in the top 25 for 19 weeks now. It's uh, debuted the, the DVD debuted at number one uh, on Billboard uh, across all genres of music. How can um, I buy that then? I mean, uh, it's, it's like I said, God's been good, and um, it's we've just been promoting that record, and it's just, and of course, of course, with all the other, I've done like five other CDs uh, over the last uh, ten years, I guess, and um, and they're they're selling really well, uh, and you know, God's just been good. I, I can't explain uh, how blessed I am. Well, so you you kept busy. Yeah. We're in Nashville. It's a great morning. Jimmy's been here for a long time. We had some right laughs this morning doing the interviews. That oh, it's none great. of it was scripted, was it, Jimmy? No, not the, at all. You the, do a great job. We just walked in here and we're just chatting away as naturally <laughs> it comes. And Jimmy, I've got to look. I've just got to finally say there. Like, you know, when you talk about heroes and people, we do seriously get requested for Jimmy Fortune. The voice is just to die for. Yeah. It's absolutely brilliant. So. You get your DVD to me, I will. we'll be playing it in the UK, you and who knows, over the next year or so, maybe we'll see in the UK and Ireland, but I know a lot of the artists in the States, there's a kind of revival, it's very busy, isn't it, you know? It is, um, you know, everybody's, everybody seems to be working, working really well, country music is alive and well. It is, yeah, and, uh, definitely. And of course I mix, you know, gospel, yeah. bluegrass in with what I do, so I'm kind of... Uh, I, I, I tour with, with a group called Daily and Vincent sometimes. I do some oh. shows with them every once in a oh, while. And really? we and they do a lot of Statler Brothers. And one, that's Wonder's one Brothers, isn't it? Yeah, and so yeah. we kind of go back and I can kind of oh. reminisce and feel like... I've I'm, seen you do some of them, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so that's, that's going, that goes over real well. But but, uh, but country music is, is, like I said, it's alive and well. And we've been... And, and thank God for the internet because yeah. uh, ever since uh, the Statler Brothers retired, the, that kind of really kept me going and pushed me out there. And so now with everybody getting to hear it all over the world, um, it's it's really... Well, it's it's going to be a pleasure playing you yeah. now in the UK and Ireland on Keep It Country TV. So, Jimmy, once again, thanks for coming in on, a, as I said, a Monday morning. We came here this morning for, will anyone turn up in the morning? Because it's a first thing Monday morning, might be a bit tired, but they've all turned up bright as buttons. It's been a real pleasure talking to you, Jimmy. You too. And get me the DVD. We will. And you'll see a lot of Jimmy Fortune over the coming months on Keep It Country TV. If you're in Nashville or you look at uh, the website, you'll see where Jimmy's appearing. Website, once again, is? Uh, it's jim jimmyfortune.com. So well, Jimmy, check it out. Thanks a million. Thank you. And now we'll take a look at Jimmy Fortune in action. <laughs>